Hello students, welcome back. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a 150 pound bucket is suspended from a cable on the wooden frame. Determine the resultant internal loadings acting on the cross section at E. So we have to find the internal loadings acting on the cross section through this point D. So for that we, we will be going to consider this section of of the beam or we can say that this suspension system. So this will be our uh, EBC segment for finding the internal loadings. But to solve for the internal loadings at E, we must find the tension in this cable. So for that, we are going to consider uh, the free body diagram. We are going to cut it here and we have to represent the tension force here. So let me draw the free body diagram. The free body diagram will look like this we will have the tension here so here we will have the tension that must be acting along this rope let's say this is t and at a we will have <coughs> the support reaction so this is point a so let's say we will have a x this will be a y and we will have let's say ax here but there is no need to find ax and ny since we are going to consider this particular section right and <clears throat> the only force that we we need to find is this tension t in the rope so as you guys can see that this t is making 30 degrees so we will have one component here and we will have one component here so let's represent the components here so the here we will have the sine component because the angle is made with the vertical so this one will be the cos component this one is t cos of 30 degrees and this one is t sine of 30 degrees so if we apply the sum of the moment about point a that must be equals to zero and the weight of the bucket is 150 pounds so if we apply the sum of the moment about point A that must be equal to zero counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now this cost component is passing through point A so its moment arm from point A is equal to zero it's not going to produce the moment about point A. This sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus T sine of 30 and the moment arm or the perpendicular distance of this component from that point A is this distance which is 3 plus 1 plus 2 so 3 4 5 6 so 6 feet multiply by 6 and similarly this weight of the bucket is going to produce the clockwise moment about point A so we will write minus 150 and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this bucket for uh, this bucket weight from that point A is this distance which is equal to 4 feet so 2 plus 1 plus 1 so this is 4 feet this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that t is equal to 150 into 4 divided by sine of 30 into 6. So 150 multiplied by 4 divided by sine of 30 multiplied by 6. So this is 200. So the tension in the rope is 200 Newton. Uh, sorry, this is 200 pounds. Now once we find this tension, um, we can consider this EBC segment. So let me consider, let me draw the free body diagram for finding the internal loadings. Now we must pass a cutting section through that point E. So this will be now our free body diagram like this. So now this is our T cos of 30 degrees and similarly let me make it small and let's make this one small as well and now at E we will have the the normal resultant force let's say this is and this is point E so this is N E we will have the shear force so let's say that the shear force at the cross section is acting towards the right this is V E and let's say that we have the bending moment. So the bending moment is let's say in the clockwise direction. So this is ME. Now we need to find this NE, VE and ME. 
considering this EBC segment. So segment EBC. So now if you apply the sum of the moment in the x that must be equals to 0. So the weight of the bucket is 150 pounds. So the sum of the forces in the x is equals to 0. Now VD is acting towards the uh, VE is acting towards the right and towards the right is our positive direction. So plus VE minus this sign component of T. So T is 200. So minus 200 sine of 30 this is equal to 0 and VE is equal to 200 sine of 30. So 200 sine of 30 this is equal to 100. So now VE is equal to 100 pound. VE is equal to 100 pounds and then it is acting in towards the right. So VE is acting towards the right. Now, if we apply the sum of the forces in the y, that must be equal to 0. Upward direction is considered to be positive. Now, we have an E in the upward direction. This is an E. So, you will write plus an E minus this component, the cos component of T. So, minus T is 200, 200 cos of 30 minus the weight of the bucket. So, this is equal to 0. Now, an E is equal to 200 cos of 30 plus 150. So, 200 cos of 30 plus 150. This gives us 323.21. 323.21 pounds. This is the normal internal force uh, at the cross section through point E. And similarly, if you want to find the internal bending moment uh, at the cross section through E, so we must apply the sum of the moment about point E that must be equal to 0. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now the assumed direction of Me is in the clockwise direction. So you will write minus Me. And again this cost component is passing through this point E. It is not going to produce the moment about point E. So this sign component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus T sine of 30. So T is 200 sine of 30. and the moment arm or the perpendicular distance of this component from point E is this distance which is 2 plus 1 which is 3 feet. And similarly this weight of the bucket is producing the clockwise moment. So I will write minus 150 and the moment arm of this weight from that point E is this distance which is 2 plus 2 which is 4 feet. So multiply by 4 this is equal to 0. So now from this, if we bring this Me to the other side of equation, we will be left with this. So we can say that Me is equal to 200 sine of 30 into 3 minus 150 into 4. So 200 sine of 30 into 3, this is 300 minus 150 into 4. So this gives us minus 300. So Me is equal to minus 300 pound feet. So the minus sign tells us that the assumed direction is not accurate. Actually, Me is in the um, counterclockwise direction and its magnitude is 300 pound feet. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Chapter 1, Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.